नमस्कार आई अमित कुमार वेलकम यू ऑल इन आई एम डीज डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो द हाईलाइट्स ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो इज दैट ए लो प्रेशर एरिया हैज फॉर्म्ड ओवर स्ट्रेट ऑफ मलक्का एंड इट इज लाइकली टू इंटेंसीफाई इन टू ए डिप्रेशन बाई ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ नवंबर एंड इट विल कंटिन्यू टू मूव इन वेस्ट नॉर्थ वेस्ट डायरेक्शन then the second highlight is that heavy to very heavy rainfall will continue over andaman nicobar areas for next 6 uh, days and over south peninsular area for next 3 to 4 days which we will look in detail in our video so now if we look at the past 24 hours observed rainfall then heavy rainfall was realized over tamil nadu kerala and rayalaseema and dense fog conditions prevailed over odisha and uttar pradesh now if we look at the synoptic system a, under the influence of this cyclonic circulation a low pressure area has formed uh, today morning over state of malacca it is likely to move in west northwest west direction and will Uh, intensify into a depression by 24th of november it will continue to move in uh, west northwest direction and there are high probability of its further intensification uh, during subsequent 48 hours there is a cyclonic circulation over south east arabian sea and another cyclonic circulation over comrin area and adjoining uh, indian equatorial oceans Uh, under the influence of this low pressure area which has formed over strait of malacca and its further intensification into a depression by 24th of november uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall is very much likely over andaman and nicobar islands along with thunderstorms or with gusty winds of 40 to 50 kmph so heavy rainfall warning are issued for 22nd and 23rd uh, Uh, november over andaman nicobar areas and then 24th and 25th of november the rainfall in, uh, intensity will increase and very heavy rainfall warnings are issued then again on 26th and 27th with the further westward northwestward movement of the system the rainfall intensity will decrease and heavy rainfall warning here is issued for andaman and nicobar islands now if we look at the temperature scenario then over west and central india gradual rise in minimum temperature is likely by 2 degree celsius during next two days and then no significant change thereafter over northwest india the temperature is like, like minimum temperature is likely to fall by 2 to 3 degree celsius during next four days and then there, thereafter there will be no significant change over northeast india the temperatures are likely to fall by 2 to 3 degree celsius during next two days and thereafter there will be no significant change now if we look at the fisherman warnings which are issued then you can clearly see that under the influence of these two systems one in arabian sea and uh, comrin area and another over strait of malacca two distinct patches you will see for which uh, fisherman warning is issued so squally weather warning is issued for entire kerala coast comrin area area south tamil nadu and over eastern part to over andaman seas is southeast uh, bay of bengal strait of malacca uh, their fisherman warning is issued so these warnings will continue for next 4 uh, days in which the warning over south andaman sea and adjoining strait of malacca will intensify into squally weather winds of 45 to 55 kmph and then further on 27th of uh, november these will be squally winds with the speed of 55 to 65 kmph over uh, south andaman sea and adjoining southeast bay of bengal as you can see in these graphics So now it is the time to explore the themes of much awaited India International Science Festival 2025 which is going to be held in December 6 to 9 uh, so from 6 to 9th of December uh, at Panchkula Haryana and it is being organized by Ministry of Earth Sciences so uh, we request all students to prepare themselves to participate in the in this uh, years iisf 2025 now please take a look at the video for you further details
can get latest weather updates from our Mosum website and Mosum app and stay updated with latest information. Namaskar Jai Hind.